My project at the EOA is to understand how the meaning of the concept of human dignity has co-evolved during the course of the 20th century and to the present with changing technological capacities to calculate human worth and risk. This question is of broad public interest and significance because today in public life, algorithmic systems are deployed uh, to aid in areas as diverse as health, justice, public services. And though these predictive algorithmic systems promise to be more impartial and more fair and more efficient, we know from examples of research done across the world that they also contribute to discrimination and uh, violate fundamental human liberties. And so here at the EOI, I'm using ethnographic methods to look closely at the way that algorithmic risk scores are deployed at the level of the city of Paris and speaking with the people, officials who uh, commission these systems at the people who design them and at the data subjects on whose data and on whose lives they have a bearing. I'm also looking historically at the work of the uh, Commission Nationale d'Informatique et Liberté, CNIL, which has since 1978 accompanied and led the French debate about information protection and has an important bearing on the global dynamics uh, and information protection in the world. And finally, most recently, I'm looking at uh, laws, uh, the kind of uh, analysis of legal cases since the general data protection regulation came into effect in 2018, looking at how human dignity figures and does not figure in those, um, in, in, in those cases. Now, through my research at the EOA, I hope to uh, contribute to describing the conditions the legal conditions, the technical and the cultural conditions, according to which algorithms can be designed and deployed that in a way that contribute to a dignified life for all. <laughs>